da büyük tartışmalara neden oldu. Bazı bilim insanları, Loeb'in iddialarının çok spekülatif olduğunu ve kanıtlanamaz olduğunu söylerken, bazıları ise Loeb'in iddialarının ciddiye alınması gerektiğini söyledi. Loeb'in iddiaları, henüz kesin olarak kanıtlanmamış olsa da, çok heyecan verici bir keşif olma potansiyeline sahip. Eğer Loeb'in iddiaları doğruysa, bu, dünyanın dışında yaşam olduğuna dair ilk kanıt olacaktı. For the first time in human history, we put our hands on materials from an object, very large object, that came from outside the solar system. And it all started on January 8, 2014, when U.S. government satellites detected the fireball around an object bigger than half a meter that uh, collided with Earth and exploded 20 kilometers over the Pacific Ocean, uh, about 100 kilometers away from Papua New Guinea. And what was special about this object is it was moving very fast. In fact, faster than the escape speed necessary to leave the solar system. So it definitely came from outside the solar system. And in fact, it was moving faster than 95% of all the stars in the vicinity of the sun relative to the frame of the Milky Way galaxy locally, the local standard of rest. But moreover, it also uh, disintegrated at very high stress and it had material strength larger than all the space rocks catalogued by NASA over the past decade, 272 of them. So the question arose as to whether it might be a Voyager-like meteor, if the Voyager spacecraft will collide with another planet thousands of light years away within a few billion years, it would look like a meteor, but a meteor of very unusual properties. As a result of its propulsion, it may move faster than space rocks. And moreover, its material strength would be tougher than rocks because it's made of stainless steel. And to find out, we went to the Pacific Ocean, the location of the meteor path, and we collected the molten droplets from the surface of the object when it was exposed to the immense heat from the fireball that released a few percent of the Hiroshima atomic bomb energy into 500 kilograms of material. And we found those spherical marbles a millimeter in size, uh, embedded in volcanic ash that you can see in this vial. And uh, we separated them using tweezers by looking through a microscope. And now we have over 700 such spherules left over from the meteor. They were concentrated along the meteor path much more than in the background. And we are now checking whether their composition in terms of elements and radioactive isotopes makes the material that they were made of very different from solar system materials in terms of its element abundances, in terms of its age. And if so, the next question is whether it was technological in origin, uh, like the spherules that would result from a Voyager-like meteor. If uh, one melts uh, the surface of a computer screen or a semiconductor, the droplets would appear very different from those from an iron meteorite. And that is the goal of the study we're now doing using mass spectrometers, electron microscopes, and uh, X-ray fluorescence analyzers. If we find that indeed the composition of this meteorite was interstellar in origin, in other words, it was not made of the same gas cloud from where the solar system emerged, but from some material far away, uh, which we can tell because uh, it, that material could have been enriched by a different exploding star, a different supernova, and uh, moreover, it could have been technological in origin. But even just the natural origin would be historic because this is the first time that we found a physical object bigger than half a meter that came from far away. And uh, if it is technological, of course, the implications would be that 
we are not alone, that we have a neighbor, just like going out to our backyard and finding a tennis ball that was thrown by a neighbor. And that will change our perspective about our place in the universe and our aspirations for space. We might decide to visit our neighbors because they sent a package that reached our doorstep. And it could also inspire us because it will give us a glimpse at our technological future. They might be more advanced than we are because our science and technology is only one century old. And they could have had thousands, millions, or even billions of years ahead of us. And therefore, we can learn from them. We should explore space and learn from our neighbors and invest in science and technology that brings us to a more prosperous future, that brings us longevity in terms of the survival of our species and our aspirations for many centuries to come.